Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to get pastel colors out of your current brush markers. You can also use other water-based brush pens with the same techniques. So yeah, let's get started. I have a set of current markers. Uh, this is the mini box set. They also have mega box and um, neon colors and a lot a lot of varieties and colors uh, however i have never found them with a pastel range so i decided to try some try mixing some colors and getting a pastel effect also you can use any water based uh, any water based brush pen that you have right away so um, i'll be mixing all the colors on this palette and i'll be swatching them on the Han Muller's uh, watercolor paper. Um, I, I really liked this pretty mini pad that they have released recently. So this is uh, of a rough texture and um, yeah and definitely to make any pastel colors you will need a white watercolor. So I have a tube one you can also use the pan, uh, pan watercolors that you have. So yeah let's start uh, with the color mixing so um, usually if you take any color and mix it with a white color you will get an instant pastel color right there so um, I'll be showing that towards the end with all the colors that I have however uh, first I'll be showing you uh, a couple of really common colors that you might like wherein like lavender or um, a pastel green, pastel yellows, pastel pinks, which you may have to mix a couple of colors to get the right color that you want. So I'm going to keep it simple and use the contemporary colors, uh, which are basic and available to a lot of people out there. Um, and also uh, which is available in a lot of brush pen sets. So um, we will start by color mixing and trying different colors. And in the end, I'll show you how these, uh, how to get pastel colors with all the colors here by just mixing white. All right, so let's start with the first color. For uh, convenience, I'm gonna um, add, keep some white color ready over here. So for the first color, I'm gonna use uh, Sarai's Royal Blue and Red. Um, these colors, the pink, red, and blue, are pretty much available in any palette that you might have. So, let's start. Alright. So I'm going to mix all of these together. I'm going to take a little white and mix it with this. I'm going to I'm going to swatch this over here. Let's see how it turns out. There you have a beautiful lavender color. Now let's go to the next. So a light blue. And this is the Arctic blue. And um, I need a sappy green, which I do not have in, in this palette. So I'm gonna mix these three together. Uh, rosewood, grass, and henna. If your palette already has a sappy green, you can use that. I'm gonna try and mix these and then um, so first I'm gonna mix these and see if I get a sappy green. So now you have got a sappy green, mix it with the blue. And then I'm adding white to this. Green and blue. Let's swatch. 
watch this this is going to be a cool uh, green color still cool green kind of color uh, I'll be showing you how to do a warm color if you feel that you want to make it more cool you need to add more of uh, the arctic blue or the light blue um, for the next color we'll do a pink a red and the henna color the brown color mix this together um, if you have never tried these colors I'm sure you'll have fun with these all all these colors are toned down a little so uh, yeah I'm adding a little bit of white right so this looks perfect let's try it out So, a pastel pink right there. Okay. So, now we're going to try uh, getting a pastel yellow. So, I'm going to add yellow, a lot of yellow, and a little bit of red. I'm going to add white into this. Let's try it on. There we go. So for the next one, we are gonna use a royal blue and a yellow. I wanna mix a sap green with it, so I'm gonna use these three colors to mix a sap green, and we'll do We'll mix these two as well so now we're gonna make a very warm pastel uh, green color this was a cool one so we're gonna try to get a warmer color so again We're gonna add yellow and make it warm again. Okay. Yellow, and I'm gonna make it warm. Right. Now I'm gonna add white into this. Let's test this out. This will be Here you have a warm green and here you have a cool green pastel color so yeah you can add more yellow if you want to make it warm and you can add more blue if you want to make it cool to get a pastel brown I'm gonna use the red and the green the grass green Okay, let's test it out. <laughs> to get a grey pastel color, I'm gonna use the black. A lot of white, basically a lot. Let's try it out. So, um, okay. so by mixing really simple colors and colors which are available, we have come up with these set of colors. Just as I promised, we are gonna uh, 
try all of these colors uh, mix them with white and see how it comes out so yeah here's a color chart that i'm gonna uh, do it on um, and then once this is done we'll compare it with the colors we already mixed and try them out here and we'll compare and see the difference and the colors we got there and uh, just by mixing a single over here so yeah um, i'll speed it up from here So yeah, here uh, we have all the colors added with white and the pastel range of this entire mini box. I haven't added black yet because I have mixed black with white in this uh, tone right here. So uh, yeah, here if you compare these set of colors with this, you will find that these colors have been toned down a little and uh, whites have been added into it. So it, it has more depth than these colors. Uh, yeah, but yes, however, you can mix different varieties and um, come up with your own range of uh, pastel colors. Well, yeah, I hope in this video you have got an idea how to create uh, pastel colors with the colors that you already have. So my uh, this video was more specific on getting pastel range of colors using Karin Marcus mainly because Ecolines, Tombos and other brands have their pastel range of colors but um, Karin hasn't released a pastel uh, set yet. So I thought I should show you a range of colors, pastel colors you can get with your existing Karin marker. Alright, so yeah, we have come to an end of this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And yeah, uh, comment below if you want to see more such color mixing videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day ahead.